All right, we live. Shalom, shalom. 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 First off, we want to start off by giving all the glory, infinite praise, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling of election sure. Shalom. 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 All right. Hey, we're the brothers of uh, GMS Savannah. All right. Coming in, coming back in the spirit with another lesson. All right. Um, Lord willing, you know, it's, it's, it's edifying and exhorting to the spirit. All right. And to the hopeful elect. And, uh, you know, hey, we were just talking before the camera uh, went live. All right. About, you know, hey, th these different calamities, these different plagues and pestilence. All right, that are coming upon the earth, uh, primarily uh, here in Babylon, the great America, man. All right, and it's a, hey, it's a beautiful time to be alive. It's a beautiful time to be a man of the Lord. And Lord willing, you know, we endure until the end, you know. Okay. Um, brothers, uh, somebody holding Jeremiah. You can start with that one. Jeremiah 28 and 8. Uh, I can bring it up. Uh, 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 you got somebody okay, got it? Okay. Yeah, I, I had it. I'm right here. All right, you bring it up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, man. The, the, um, the prophets all the way from the beginning all right spoke of of uh of war of pestilence and evil uh coming upon the earth starting with uh noah all right a hey, noah prophesied that there was a great evil that was going to come upon the earth man okay and nobody believed them nobody uh would will repent and stop what they're doing all right to consider what this man was saying all right and we're in the days uh, that are likened unto the days of Noah. Somebody grabbed that in, uh, I believe that's Luke. Um, as it was in the days of Noah. Um, <coughs> um, I got it in Matthew. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 24 and 37. Yep. All right. Matthew 24 and 37. Matthew 24 and 37 But as the days of Noah were So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be For as in the days that were before the floods They were eating and drinking Marrying and giving in marriage Until the day that Noah entered into the ark And knew not until the flood came And took them all away So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be you got it out yeah man and that's what you see you gonna you you see these people out here that's gallivanting around doing all type of wickedness all type of madness not paying attention to what's coming down the pipe not paying attention to the the judgments that are coming unto coming to the earth from you how about you shot and they're gonna try to get themselves together and it's gonna be too late like when we always going to um the five virgins that was wise and the five virgins that were foolish. These people are foolish because they're not gathering up the oil, not gathering up the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and preparing for what's about to come. They're not thinking that bad times are coming. That's why the scriptures say they should be taken like a thief in the night because they're going to be taken like a thief in the night because they're not prepared. We are being prepared in our minds. We are being prepared through these scriptures, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem outside. So we getting ready for what's coming. These people don't even see what's coming, you know? So they're not going to have a seat on, on, on that chariot or on that, that spiritual art that Yahweh Hashem outside is creating right now. Huh. Yep. Huh. I got hey, a priest. You have your lamp trim. That's right. Yeah. I got a priest. This is that Luke uh, 17, just the land back. Luke 17 and 24, it says, as the lightning that lightning out of the one part under he heaven shineth unto the other part unto heaven so shall also the the sun 
of man being his day. But but first he must suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Mm -hmm. As it was in the days of no, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. All right, and we're we're in the days, man, of no. All right, and uh, you know we're in the time of Yahweh Shai's return. You know, mm -hmm. and we um, you know, we're hastening the day where Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai destroyed Babylon the Great and deliver us out of this wicked kingdom, man. All right, oh. we just coming oh. out of a. Uh, uh, pride man you know uh uh you know the 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 celebration of the fourth of july the independence so. of babylon the great you know this place is uh you know which is really um when you think about it the end of uh june and july that's really the most prideful time of the year you yep. know it's the middle of the year and, and you know people are just in folly and mirth it's, so. it's hot outside you know they, they, you know, the women are wearing scantily clothes. You know, uh, you know, all manner of wickedness is going on. There's a lot of crime going on. You know, oh. a lot of murders. You know, just oh, like in the man. days of Noah, man. The, the Lord said it, uh, He's seen the violence uh, among among men. Roughly paraphrasing, he was uh, it repented him that he made man. You know, huh. mm -hmm. and Baba Kashaw uh, also with the vote. You know, we still. People getting, you know, with this, you know, with the campaign and everything, these, you know, with this president and Joe Biden and Trump, you know, and look at our, look at our Scottish people, man. Yeah. And then they having some other ce uh, celebrities, you know, be part of it, man. They just get the, oh, yeah. the two thirds, man, to be oh, yeah. on board, man. Our people got Stockholm syndrome, man, at all time high, man. That's a good point. This, this place is about to be destroyed. They worry about this to, some damn voting, man. You got to be kidding me, man. Right. Great point, Mark. Yeah. I got one right. Go ahead, Mark. You got it. It's, uh, Ezekiel 75. Thus said the Lord God, in evil and only evil, behold, it's come, and end is come. The end is coming, watch it for thee. Behold, it is come. <laughs> and see, and see, that what these people they don't know, man. We at the, we at the end, man. God, you know, you got you you, yeah. you got a lot of people crying about this, this hurricane in uh Houston. You know, they mm -hmm. they got a lot of uh power outages, and they can't take it, man. A lot of them bugging out, man. Yeah, <laughs> not it's knowing hot. <laughs> it's hot. They, you know, they saying it's hot. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, that degrees it. over there, man. Yeah, then, yeah. Yeah. Then on top of that, they got that humidity, especially with yeah. the standing water that ain't got drained out yet. Yeah, so right. You gotta throw like how you said. You know, we don't been in hurricanes. We know how you got the standing water. Then you know what brings water. Well, uh, what the water brings, mosquitoes mm -hmm. and bugs, disease, yep. and just like how you see pestilence. You know, you, you open your back door, there's a bunch of stagnant water there. Now you got mosquitoes. Here come the disease. And well, yep. or should we like how we just said earlier, pestilence. God. Oh. Hey, hey, you hey, can you see it. Oh look, what you said up. Uh, Oh, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, if you uh, if that was all you were going to read on there, you can jump down there and get uh, 14 and 15. That's the spirit. I had the same. You know, I was going to make yourself and myself. Yeah, yeah. But you can go ahead, though. I ain't mean to cut y'all. Yeah, you good. Now, I was just going to say, hey, you could tell there's a lot of people that ain't going to make it, man. In the mm -hmm. time of Jacob, when Jacob trouble kick off, man, they, they bugging out now. You know, That's I just right. thinking, man, like, man, these people ain't going to make it if they bugging out now. That's right. Yeah. You no. Know, and hey, that's, that's the spirit because, uh, uh the brother was talking about the video the elder did yesterday but not the zot by you know which, which goes to show that it's a bunch of you know a lot of weak ass spirits out here man mm -hmm. a lot of uh americanized uh negroes out here man and they don't got that that thick skin that you gonna have to have man you're gonna have to have the the you know the, for, the mental fortitude to see death and keep going you know you're gonna have to have you know the the mental fortitude to endure. You know, yeah, yeah. Because I remember. Oh, so like Because I even. Yeah, you got it. Oh, so, yeah. Even uh, brother Hashar, even he said that can't one time. He said, "Hey, when you know, excuse my French, when she hit the fan, hey, you got you got to set your feelings to aside. Because 
you know, when you know when stuff hit the fan, you could be walking, you can see people getting messed up. You know, stuff that you see in movies happening yep. right there in your face, just like that. You're like, oh, damn, what the hell? Yeah, ain't time for you to be in that corner cowering. If not, that means, hey, you, you, you wasn't selected to, it's like how you just said, you know, gird your loins. It's, right. I got a prefix on that too whenever you get a chance. I'm all. Uh, the thing about it, man, Jake, Jake got to come up out of that damn Superman spirit. You know, he want to save everybody. Yep. He don't want to want to save the white man, the East Indians, the, you know, every nation. He want to save every nation instead of just worrying about his own self, his own nation, man. You know? Yeah. yeah. I jumped on uh, Ezekiel 7 and 14. It said, they have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none go to the battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour them. Yeah, the, hey, these cities gonna be bad. Mm -hmm. You know, these American cities, you don't wanna be near a bunch of people, man, in the day of the Lord, man. In the day, <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah. Jacob's trouble, man. And Come they like on, never before seen before, man. So yeah, if people want to go get these sky rise apartments. You gonna mm. that's gonna be your tune. Yep. You know. Yep. New York, Chicago. Yep. We, we even had to go up north, Miami, yep. Atlanta, Columbia, Raleigh. And it's not. It is like Jake. Jake not gonna have no excuse because, like the out red, um, at the top of that verse. We blowing the trumpet. We out here warning you, letting you know that danger is coming. That is a hey, we're about to come into some nasty times. But mm -hmm. Jake just constantly just going about their merry way, not thinking about the times that we're coming into now, knowing who his enemy is. Because when you go to war, when you go to battle, you know who your enemy is. You know when these Edomites going to war, they know who their enemy is. Jake mm -hmm. is going in war and don't know who his enemy is. Hey, that's that's the spirit too, because uh. Cause, uh uh, this weekend, what did they have happen in uh, in, in Nashville? You had those, uh, uh, the, you know, I don't yeah. know what, what they proclaim themselves to be, but, you know, they basically are uh, white supremacists marching down right. the street. Mm -hmm. They want to take, take their country back, man. Yeah, they, yeah, they want their hey, country Hey, you're back, right. Uh, so they, hey, they die hard because I was um I was going to Richmond Hill, you know, going to the grocery store or whatever, you know, and then hitting the gym. So I'm going to the gym. You had these Trump supporters out on the side of the road with flags up, with yeah. flags saying, come and vote for Trump. You know, vote for Trump. Man, it was 102 degrees outside in the dead of the middle of the day in the heat when it's at the highest index. And these these damn, damn Edomites are out here with flags, man. Mm -hmm. So like you say, they want to take their country back, man. These are some diehard Edomites, man. Yep. And just like how uh, y'all don't said it, the elders don't say it. Hey, you saw back is already pushed to the corner. Eventually, they coming out this motherfucker swinging. Yeah, they, car, they, they, they they already know they the, the the ones that they know their time is short. They're like, hey, look, we ain't gonna make it. If I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna see how much you know what I'm gonna take with me. Yeah, yep, that's the so spirit they gonna about, have Right. You gotta think about it, man. These rich elites, they know the scriptures, they know all the things that happened in the Bible really were true. So they know that they at the end of their kingdom, they know that their judgment is to be in hardcore slavery. So you knowing that you know these these Edomites, man, they're about to lose their minds out here. Cause this is their last hoorah. You know, yep. this is it right here. This is their last punch. You know how when you 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 in a fight. And somebody breaking the fight up, and you get to get that last punch while somebody <laughs> holding them. That's what he's yeah. waiting for, man. He want that yeah. last punch, man. Yeah, he want to make that last one a good one before he go out. Yeah. 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 I got. Yeah. I got one. Uh, Amos three and six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? That's right. Should there should there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Let Shalomar break that one down. Yeah. And just like, hey, you know what? You beat me right too, because I'm going to read the next one, Joel 2 and 1. But hold on. Hold that right quick. I'm going to hold that right quick. And just like <laughs> you said, how Brother uh, Malachi just said, 
have the the trumpet not sound. We out here on the streets every Sunday, blowing the blowing the trumpets, warning these jakes. These two thirds was going down. The most high is sending out signs and, and signals, hurricanes, earthquakes. We already saw what happened over with Russia when they strike that town with those missiles. Mm-hmm. It, he's letting it known, like, hey, it's about to go down. And if you guys don't mind, I want to read Joe. Yeah, yeah, I know I got to get my tried and true. Oh, good old Joel, two, two and one. Mm-hmm. Blow ye the trumpets in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming, for it is nigh at hand. I mean, what more signs do people need that the most high is saying, hey, I'm coming to visit this place? We got hurricanes popping off. We got weathers popping off. Pestilence popping off. He got signs. World War III is pretty much being sought up. The draft don't kick in. We got people trying to run to different countries, trying to dodge these drafts. Ain't happening. You know, so it's going down. Us brothers, we getting ourselves prepared. Hey, like you said at the beginning, it said let all the inhabitants of the earth tremble. He didn't yep. say get in a circle and saying kubaya. You know, he said tremble. You know, so that means the Lord is coming with that righteous indignation, that righteous anger, man. You know, yep. he's coming back to judge. He's not coming back as a as a weak. You know, frail man. No, he coming back with great glory and power through um through the uh the prophecies going out in the earth, through the judgments that's going out in the earth. You know, all these things are gonna are gonna um bring into um everybody's mind who the real power really is here in the earth, man. Come on, come on, come on. I got a precept. Go ahead, got a precept huh? Uh Habakkuk two and three. For the vision is yet for a appointed time, Beautiful. but but at the but the, at the end it shall speak mm-hmm. and not lie. Through it tarry, though it wait, tarry. Though, though though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That's right, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, the, the vision. All right, which is uh, you know, what what has been spoken through these prophecies, man. All mm-hmm. right, you know, like the brothers been, you know, the brothers been reiterating, uh, pestilence and war. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna tarry, man. This vision is for an appointed time, and we're entering into that time. All right, hey, and it's beautiful to, you know, to to hear you, bros, bringing up, you know, all the things that are going on because years ago, hey. There was bros on the highways and byways when 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 nothing was going on, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and the warning was still going out, and nobody believed. Yep. You know, but hey, the the Lord has uh, set up a remnant in these last days to believe the words of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, the words of this prophecy, the words of this book. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, and we and hey, we bringing out these prophecies, we bringing out these judgments, and we lining them up with the scriptures, lining them up with what does say if you how by Shemal Shah. But you got these pastors in church house still talking about um hell, you know, a place where you're gonna burn forever, you know. And when we going into the things that really talked about in these scriptures, the real things in the scriptures, these people are still talking about Greek mythology. They're still talking about the lies that Esau been telling them for thousands of years. You know, mm-hmm. they still talk about uh, uh, Jesus Christ, you know, and by now, if you still believing in Jesus Christ, you just a two thirty. You're going to be put to death, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Um, I got a, a precept. Oh, second edges, second edges, 15 and one. Behold, yeah. speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know, the Lord say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. You know, yeah. that's the end all be all. Um, the scriptures say um, the ones that didn't um, keep the law, the same shall know it at the death by pain, man. You know, 
So the Heavenly Father is not coming back with hugs and kisses. He's not coming back the the pat little little babies on the head, man. You know, he's coming back to bring judgment here on the earth. All right, mm -hmm. and save the hope for elect. So we fighting and we 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 clawing to be a part of that hope for elect. All right, because if you don't make the make the cut, look what you got coming for you: judgment, wild beasts, apparitions, all these mm -hmm. things are coming for you. So through the terrors of the Lord, we hey, we persuade men and also ourselves. Mm -hmm. God. Because you don't want to fall into the hand of the king of terrors, man. You know? God. This is uh, uh, I, I, I got one. Um this is uh Isaiah um chapter 13, and I'm gonna start at two. It says uh, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. You know, that's what we've been doing, man, through the through the internet, through the YouTube, through all these social media platforms. We're shaking the hand, man. All right. Oh. And this this word has entered into the gates of the noble, the elites. OK, so much so that we're going to be persecuted for what we say, for the things that we prophesy out of this book. You know, right. Verse three, it says, I have uh, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones. For my anger, even mm -hmm. them that rejoice in my highness, the noise of the multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations, Salakia, a tumultuous noise of the of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustereth the hosts of the battle. They come from a far country. From the end of the of the of heaven, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And hey, that's what the Lord is doing, man. He's gathering the nations, all the armies, you know, and they're gonna fight. I seen a video, I think I put it in the group chat, and it was just a bunch of troops walking up a, a mountain. Yeah, I saw that. You know, and hey, we we're heading into that time where it's a hey, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. All right, the Mountain of Troops. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's that? Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a God one. I'm a God one. Yep. You know, and, and, and uh, the, the caption, the actual caption to the video was, uh, it said, uh, "Troops in a war that's going to be fought by air." <laughs> you know, because the Lord is going. Hey, this ain't going to be a fight with with troops. Mm -mm. You know, it ain't gonna be a ground war. The Lord gonna let them nukes fly, man. Yep. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, man. You got the nukes, you got the drones. You know, so, man. Hey, Esau got all type of technology that he's gonna use in his next war. You know, yeah. like you said, man, you're not gonna have to worry about these troops. Um, you know, it's gonna be troops to get killed, but it's gonna be a lot of technology um that's gonna be used in this next war. Yeah, like uh like you see a lot of drones. Yep, yep, a lot of drones. Uh, drones yeah, that's actually that's all they've been using uh, in the uh, Ukraine war. They have uh, little, little, little drones that drop torpedoes. Man. Yeah, yeah. They don't even have to put a man on 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 the uh, on the on the you know have a man with a gun there. They don't have to have that no more, man. Uh, I got one. I, Isaiah ninety five. Ah, you beat me to it. <laughs> you got it. You, you got it. No, no, no. You good. You good. You good. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Isaiah 95 for every battle of the warriors with confused doors and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going to be a, a lot of drones used and, and milk. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, you're going to have, you gonna have ground, ground troops, but most of this going to be with drones and missiles, man. Yep. Because you you know a lot of these people like to say oh we in the technology age now so yeah the, the military especially now when when everything's being sought up oh Esau he was gonna start pulling out his, his, his quote unquote toys he could be like right. hey well we, we about to go down so we might as well go ahead and pull out the best toys instead of leaving the best like that or say we leave the best for last the, yeah you can start seeing some shit right. yeah. you know, 
you know, everybody says, oh, shit, damn, they got a robot dog? Oh, man, they got something even better than that. Right. You know, you remember about 20 years ago how everybody freaked out when the first stealth bomber came out? Like, man, right. what the, is that an alien? Oh, they got shit that you ain't really ain't seen yet. Yeah, so it, it's all about uh, uh, strategic strikes. Yep. That's really, that's really what it's all about. Uh, hey, I got you one. Got oh, you got one? Right, go ahead. Shoot. Trying to get that. Uh, the the they shot more having no bridegroom. Uh, let's see. Second here to see. I got a, I got a quick one, real quick. You got it. Go ahead. Jeremiah fifty and twenty five. Yahweh have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Yep. For this is the work of the Lord, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. You see, hey, the Lord is, hey, the Lord is about to open up his storehouse, man. He's about to bring out all these different missiles that he had Esau, Edom, these other nations creating and building. He say, "I create a smith that blows the coals." So Esau, Esau is just about to do the will of Yahweh Shem Shah. Um, I got one more. Jeremiah fifty and twenty nine. I'm gonna skip on down to twenty nine. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, doing to her. For she have been proud against Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. So that's the judgment for this 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 whore, man, Babylon the Great. You know, hey, Yahweh Shemal Shah said, hey, a camp around about her, you know? So they're going to surround this war and shoot her with missiles, man. You know, because everybody always want to say, uh, what is the lake of fire? When you get into the lake of fire, you know that those those ICBM missiles, it's going to be shot ground zero America, you know? That's going to be that, that that um what what they call it, um that cleansing agent, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's, oh, you got it right. Go ahead. Oh, Salaka, uh, Salaka, you remember not what happened not too long ago when Putin took his uh his submarine and his warship to Cuba. When he told uh the United States when he, been, when he came over there, oh, you can be touched on Right. 90 miles off the coast of Florida. Yep. And, yeah, you remember he got, you know, Satan too. That can go Mark 5. If you 95, if you 90 miles off the coast of Florida or anywhere. Uh-huh. Mark yeah. five, man. That's a matter. That's a matter of seconds or even minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not shooting it from a continent to a continent, but ninety miles. If he's right there in Cuba, he could be in Miami if I damn that maybe less than five minutes. Man, what right them hypersonic missiles don't even show up on the radar because they moving so fast and right. they had that plasma bubble around them. Yeah. So you no. know exactly. All. And even if they did manage to spot it by that, it's too late. Mm-hmm. You know, what you could do in Miami in five minutes, right? You know, by the, even if the, the 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 alarm go off, you, by the time you grab your keys and put your shoes off, it's game over. Well, you remember we brought out the um the video from TikTok where um the woman said that they only have forty five interceptor missiles. Yeah. You know, so forty five, and what she said it was like what forty in okay, Alaska, was, right? Yeah, your majority is in Alaska. Yep. So, so your main state, excuse my French, your main state's fucked. Yep. Right. So I got a precept. Yeah, go ahead. So like you. Um, this is Second Ezra 16 uh, and 31. It says, even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left uh, by them that search their houses with the sword. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel therein. It's gonna be like, um, um, what's that movie with Will Smith? Uh, I am legend. Yeah, I am legend. Yeah. Yep. Where you know where Times Square was, you know, full of full of animals and and, and overgrown yeah. weeds and stuff. Um, verse 33 it says the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms and the women shall mourn having no husbands their daughters shall mourn having no helpers 
in wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine so the lord really just gonna um have fun with the troops man you know and, and he gonna make a sore slaughter of them troops that's just for his uh his wrath and his indignation but the real um destruction is gonna happen by way of, of missiles man you know because we you know we talking about how they're gonna draft people you know how there's gonna be actual troops on the ground but they're not really going to be involved in the, in the real war. That's just uh, Yahweh Shai to to come and stay in his raiment. You know? Uh -huh. Hey, I got one to go with that. Huh? You got it. Um, Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land and, and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. For I, for Salakia, thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against Yahweh. Yeah, this, this, this place in a trick bag, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Yahweh Shemal Shah got this place set up for destruction, man. Sure. I think uh Saudi Arabia they, they just said uh they gonna come up against NATO and the EU if, if they don't stop supplying Ukraine or something like that, right though. You know, so the Lord uh, setting it up, man, for this place to fall, man. You know, on all levels. Yeah, yeah, and then if you look what's going on in the Middle East, you done got pretty much a good bit of the the country over in the Gulf against Saudi um against Israel, Syria, yeah. Yemen, Iran. Uh, uh, who else? The guy, Sudan, Egypt. You yeah. know, all of them telling like, "Hey, look, this is about high time for y'all to leave." You know, Palestine alone. Right. So, yeah, it's, it's damn near the Gulf Coast is looking like, yeah, we, yeah, it's about time to you know <laughs> to really right. let loose on these guys. Well, that's how the scriptures say that the war yeah. is going to start. The least of mm -hmm. the flock shall draw them out. Least of the flock. Yep. So, so, so the Lord is working, man. You got a lot of pieces being moved on 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 the board. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you got everybody over here, like how we say at camp all the time. Everybody over here on Sundays, walking around here with some Lizzie's cups in the hand with alcohol, just just living it up, like ain't nothing yeah. going on. And you know, just like how I put a, a picture in a WhatsApp last week about you know at the the grocery stores. You know, everybody you know of age should know you know crush. Back then, eight. About eight to ten years ago, you can get them bad boys the case for about like two dollars and some change if you can't afford the name brand, so the Sprite, Cola, whatever. I put it, in, I posted it in WhatsApp and say, "Ain't no way this off-brand soda is for eight ninety-nine at a regular grocery store at a Piggly Wiggly grocery store for eight dollars and ninety-nine cents, almost nine bucks, pretty much almost a dollar a can." All right. Man. Again, nobody's paying attention to inflation like how her showers brings it up. Fla inflation is going up. Gas prices creeping up. You know, they 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 try to bluff you with, oh yeah, tourism is good. No, it's not. These hotels are suffering. People ain't coming over here like how they used to a few years back. Because everybody's worried about their money. 401k, yep. they're dipping into their 401k. They, they love, what's the other one? uh they, they benefits to save their money and stuff because they you know some people catching on like yeah this this shit about to hit the fan you know yeah. and the so ones that, that so hey and and the ones that are you know what i'm saying able to go in and you know go on these different trips and try to maintain that that's that 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 that, that, that mindset that everything's okay because when we watched the um the one movie i think of what it was civil war when you went to that town and the woman was trying to act like yeah. everything was still good, you know, yeah. when all hell yeah. was breaking loose all around the place, man. You know, yeah. these people are still putting themselves deeper in debt. They running through that, like I said last week, they run through their 401ks, they maxing out their credit cards, you know. Yeah. So when this, when 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 everyone the hyperinflation hit, these people are already gonna be in a chokehold, man. Mm -hmm. Big time chokehold. Yep. Hey, uh, hey, uh, where you on? Um, I know you had got Matthew 24 and 30. 
What is it? I got. Go ahead, go ahead. You got it. You got it. I was just gonna finish off on, on that uh, Matthew twenty four way. Uh, Yonder Car started off with. Come on, come on. I'm gonna read on down a little bit since y'all talking about that. Uh, Matthew twenty four thirty seven. But as the days of Noah were, so so also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So should it also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know, so like y'all going into man, gonna be the same thing, man. These people, you know, eating, married, giving in marriage, not knowing that missiles getting ready to be shot, man. Judgment is at hand, man. A mm -hmm. lot of people gonna get burnt up, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a yeah, precept yeah. too. Just to uh just to land back off for you, uh this is uh second Ezra sixteen and twenty one. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. That they shall think themselves to be in good case, even so shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Uh -huh. okay. That would you see now, man? A, a bunch of a bunch yeah. of confusion, man. <laughs> hey, you just named off everything, you know. Famine looked like how you said, look what's going on in Texas. Confusion, look what's going on. You got people don't know who the hell to vote for, who the hell to vote for. One woman, Whoopi Goldberg, Thomas, she was still vote for Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump, I'm sorry. Joe Biden, if he's comatose in the hospital. <laughs> so, I'm looking like it's crying shame that y'all people still put y'all faith in these in these devils. Yeah. yeah. Every every four years, A and never did shit for y'all, but you still want to vote for him. Like I said before, y'all yeah. trying to huh. vote for a white man that trying to save you from a white man. Huh. Hey, vote right. for the lesser of the two evils. <laughs> yeah, it's still the same damn devil bird. Right. <laughs> Yeah, man, these people are uh, are frogs in a kettle, you know. Mm -hmm. And you saw slowly turning up that heat, you know, so much so that they don't notice that they're in a the kettle. They don't know. But this place is uh, circling the drain, man. You know, a the a the the um a lot of these banks are failing. Mm -hmm. A lot of these corporations are failing, going out of business, laying off workers. Yep. And, and and people are still just going to work on the daily grind, not not understanding what times they're in, man. You know? Hey, because hey, when you get into it, the Heavenly Father gifted Esau with the gift of gradualism. And he hey, and he using it to the T, man. Like That's these it. people don't even can't even tell what's going on, even though we go out to the highways, the byways, and we tell them, man. They cannot come up out of that mindset that America is going to be great again. They can't come out of that mindset of trying to save this 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 uh, wicked place, man. Because when you talk about talk about America going down, you talk about the the de-dollarization, you talk about the MOTB. These people try to figure a way up in their head that everything is going to be all right. They try to come up with solutions of how that's not going to happen instead of being on the side of man, we want it to fall. You know, because when you get into the scriptures, you know you want this place to fall. You want it to go down. Because Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we want the kingdom. We got to see this place go down. All right. All right. I got a precept. You got one up? You go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 24 and 11. It says, the mirth of Tabret ceases. The noise of I them that... a hey, beautiful... <laughs> the noise of them <laughs> that rejoice of ending the joy of the harp ceases ceases yeah even the even the music everything in this society is really just uh shitty even, uh, yeah it's just shitty man even the, the whole fourth of july bro yeah it was uh it, it was real whack it was real lame you know like it's not like it used to be yeah you, you know? can actually just like how you said you can actually feel the mirth go out of it. It's like, man, it's not the same three, four years ago. Well, before. Hey, well, uh, hey, hey, to a point, though, real quick, uh, when you think about the times when we was coming up as kids, you know, everybody wanted to go and watch the BET Awards. Now yep. look what the BET Awards then turned into. A bunch of damn women, you know, getting on the BET Awards, shaking their ass, you know, talking about some stuff that they're not doing. 
you know right and, and nobody really care about it anymore before you know you just want to watch the bt award now it's just like a bunch of foolishness now man right like yeah, you said man. the merch is gone and it's not it's not just us you know sometimes it feel like you know uh, we we profits you know and the, the mirth is going to us but now nah, these people are starting to feel the same thing right you know yeah, hey, you too too broke to enjoy anything in this society, yeah bro. <laughs> hey not only that uh, look look how many people was going in and talking about how the nfl was rigged how the nba was rigged you know they can they they constantly seeing that hey man this this, this just bread and circus you know everything is fixed yep. Yep. Come, 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 come. See what people don't realize is like you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it out. Go ahead. Now, now I'm just gonna say what people don't realize is, man. You know, we, we serve the, the power of heaven, of heaven and earth. How about Shema Rasha? Everybody is subject to prophecy, whether you believe it, whether you believe the truth or not. You still subject to, to prophecy, man. So you can't escape, you know, the judgment of Yahweh by Shema Rasha. Yeah. Yep. But you know, you get the most of these people, uh, these two thirds. And it's using they're going to maybe if I ignore it hard enough, it was, it's going to go away. Yeah. If I don't pay attention to it, it's not going to happen. Right. right. Yeah, stick their head in the dirt. Yeah, the ostrich right. syndrome. <laughs> stick my head in the dirt. Now, I, if I don't see it, 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 I if don't I didn't see it, it, it don't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, Salaki, Salaki Aki. Hey, it's another one I meant to tell you earlier. Uh, is it um, Paramount? They taking off oh, yeah. all of the history. You heard about that, Aki? And, and they were saying like boycott um, Paramount. I think it's an app, but they taking all of our history off of it, mm. off, off their platform. Mm. Them, them devils, man. Yeah. You got it. You got it, Mother Kaya. Uh, I got uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and three. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few. And those that look out of the windows shall be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up as the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we we see it playing out, man. The BET war, man, was just it really was like 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 a lot of people saying it, it's like Magic City, man, like a script show, man. Yep, yep, that's all it was, man. <laughs> yeah. a, a, a damn minstrel show. <laughs> it, 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 ain't, it ain't about music, it's about you know who can be naked the most. Man. Yeah, you know? who will come out who come out the most freaky <laughs> right. with the most clothes off. Yep, right. God. Well, yep. The, hey, the, that's beautiful because a, a few years back, the elder apostle Gabar he said the 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 uh you know the worst things get in this society the more clothes you gonna take off man yep motherfucker coming out naked now right you know they're wearing the, they're wearing the uh the dresses with the with the sheer on it you know and it's basically like you naked you know we can see your body underneath it yep car you know we can see yep. the prints and all that man you can see right yep. through it you know but hey that's it's, it's really showing how uh morally decayed this society is man because it used yep. to be it used to be you walk out the house and you get shamed for, for wearing uh certain things man yeah, everybody would have point laugh at you like what the hell wrong with that person now it's like right. psh, i know i'm like yeah right is it pretty much damn near like our brother on the car said everybody trying to outdo it. oh she gonna wear that oh i got something right. better yeah i'm gonna yeah, try yeah. to outdo her next week i got one right quick Go with it. Second area of 14 and uh, 17. For look how much the world should be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. You know, uh, it says, for the truth is fled far away and leasing is, is hard at hand. For now hasten the vision to come which thou hast seen. You know, so the, hey, the, hey, the, hey, the, uh, the world is getting weaker, man. You know, his place really don't have no morals no more, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, they that's what they're saying. Daniel, man, they say the wicked, the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, or, or the wicked not understanding this message that we got. They not understanding that there's something better coming. There's something right. else to hope for than Babylon the Great. All they want to do is just make it to the next uh Friday, man. You know, and go out and live and live their best life, and then money just go back and serve Esau. That's all they want to do, man. Hey, we we got our, our single, man. We got our, our single on the kingdom. You know, we constantly waiting for the next prophecy to come. We constantly waiting to see what next domino that Esau drop. You know, so we can run out and we can tell the people and get excited because that's what we get excited for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, they, they, they get excited for every weekend so they can put it on social media and stunt on each other, right? But right. we're looking for props, that's right. Yeah. And then, like, when you get on social media, man, when you get on like Facebook, Instagram, you know, all you see is uh Jake's telling a lot, you know, yeah, they a facade, yeah, yeah, yep. everybody lying, everybody, everybody's so happy. Everybody yeah. money. Everybody taking trips. It's a highlight reel. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a highlight reel. Huh? You yep. put your best moves on the on the on the on the on social media. Right. All the makeup on, you know. <laughs> All the best yep. clothes on, man. You know, but behind closed doors, everybody's struggling, man. Everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. Everybody. Hey, celebrities are struggling, man. God. You know, these celebrities out here, they like, oh, shit, getting hard. You gotta save yeah. money right now. Even the celebrities know that. Yeah. You know, so how much more uh, 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 these these common jigs, man? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like we went into it, I think a couple of weeks ago. You know, we went into like with these uh celebrities, these athletes. You know how much money they get to keep out of those big contracts they sell. They they um they they make. And you, when you get into it, man, it's like they might sign a contract for seven million, but only end up with probably about a million dollars, man. Yep. You man. know. Right. So they they in slavery huh. too, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah it's really. It's, it's, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. You got it. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and it's really, uh, you know, they was getting getting like thirty or forty million. That's really like pennies on the dollar compared to what the, the amount of money they're making for ESO. You know, right. if, if you got an owner yep. that if you got an owner that can pay you fifty or sixty million, then play seven or eight other uh other players millions of dollars. Imagine how much money uh the owner got, man. So you you just got pennies on the dollar, man. Still standing right. like right. brother John Carr said. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not hey, what young young dog said? A rich nigga, a rich slave. A rich slave. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, because once you get that amount of money, you you start to get uh, bills that are bigger. You don't, yeah. have, a, uh, you don't have a hundred dollar light bill now. Now your light bill is a thousand dollars a month or, or two thousand dollars a month. Right. Yeah. You got to mention you got to heat and air that month. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. upkeep. You got to. You know. You got to yeah. upkeep it. You, yeah, you know, just, just uh, like uh, insurance, taxes, all that man adds yeah. up. No, yeah, just like just like how you said with uh what Floyd Mayweather, how much you said that just for the people to do his lawn, what twenty five hundred dollars right. a week, not a week a month, yeah. uh, or more just to do just to do the man yard. Yeah, because when you move into those those um those million dollar homes, it's a certain way you got to have your grass cut, a certain length of grass got to be cut, all the houses yeah. got to be painted a certain color, you know. And you got to keep that thing together, man. Yep, that whole yeah, homeowners yeah. association. Yep, right, right. Uh. Yeah, man. Just like how you said, you yep. know, if you got if they got flowers in the yard, you know, the flowers don't last, don't live long. What a couple of weeks, they're dead. So yep. somebody got somebody got to come down there every three, four, pretty much every month to replace the plants in your in your yard. Yeah. If you got, I think a pool, that was uh that was Evander Holyfield. I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, so lucky. Yeah, Evander Holyfield. Okay. Yeah. It's, they were saying his mansion it cost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month <laughs> to cut the grass there. Oh. Man, that's, a quarter, one, that's pretty ridiculous. Much a, pretty much a quarter of a million dollars a month just for somebody to do his yard. No. Oh. But but yet yeah, these hey, these the jigs they want they want they have it here. Yeah. 
And that's why I was going to say you have received your reward. Look at your reward, man. You know, it's deteriorating. It's through, yeah. man. Yep. And then on top of that, brother Yannicka, it's not even a re it's not even there with re uh, reward because it could be taken right. away from them. Exactly. Yeah, yep. yep, at the snap of the finger. Snap right. of the finger. But prime example, Kanye West. Oh, ran yep. off at the mouth. Dick, Dick, he couldn't be touched. Ran off at the mouth. What happened? Next day, froze his account. Right. Yep. Hell, Bill Cosby. Cosby. Bill Cosby. Yep. 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 R. Kelly. R. OJ Simpson. Yo, OJ, man, OJ was on top of the game one time. <laughs> yeah. Like, OJ was like yeah. one of the main sports announcers in the game at that yeah. time. He, he done made movies, he been yep. in TV commercials, everything. After that little incident that happened with uh, with the little court thing, go on. Well, Just you like know, that. OJ, when you go back to OJ, like when he was young, OJ was in um what The Roots, the actual, the, 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 the original, original Roots um, show. Wow. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, he yeah. was the father to the girl that um when when Kunta was trying to uh, talk to him when they got shipped to America. Yep, you yeah, know. And, yep. Yeah, and, um, go back and watch that again. Yeah, then the original roots they had a lot of celebrities in that movie. Yeah, there was a lot of celebrities in it. Well, yeah, I got one real quick just to just to back y'all brothers up. This is the Book of Saint Matthew, chapter six, verse nineteen. Red letter, how was y'all speaking? Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where Beautiful. moth and rust doth where, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. So yeah, man, that's what we doing, man. We we laying up our treasures in heaven, man. Well, you know, when the kingdom comes, we're gonna have complete sovereignty, man. Real wealth. Well, well, you know, Esau can, you know, it can't be taken away, man. So we don't, we don't want these uh, so-called earthly riches, because it's gonna perish any damn way, man. Right. You know, right? And you know, like like y'all, like y'all brothers been saying, man, Esau can take it away whenever, whenever he get ready, man. You can't, you know, if you don't push his narrative, he can, it, it can all be gone, taken from you at the drop of a hat, man. So, you know, yeah. this is the real riches. What, what we're doing, this truth, this work. Yep. Hey, it's basically like how uh one of one of these old Cosby shows, uh Bill Cosby told his son, I brought you into the world, I can take you out. He saw right, brought man. these celebrities into his world and he could take yep. them out, man, at any time. Yep. You yep. know, I mean yeah, we got plenty of prime examples. Cat Williams, mm -hmm. right? The, you know, the list can go on and on. Look, but like one minute you see him on TV, the next minute, where the hell he at? And what they say, I, I got blackballed. You know, that's what they yeah, say. Black, yep, I got black. Yep, ball. I got, got black ball. Blacklisted. Yep. Can't, no. can't, do, can't, can't even can't even get yourself a commercial, a fifteen second commercial debut. Yep. Yep. <laughs> just yep, just like that. But yeah, everybody wants to be. Yeah, I want to do this. I want to do that. Not knowing the consequences. Hey, then what happened after that? You have a nigga like Ty, Tyler Perry get these great actors for pennies on the dollar. You know, yep, yep. to resurrect their career again. You know, you got to go do this dumbass show with their Tyler Perry, man. Yep. You know, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I give you a couple of thousand dollars for you to act a fool yep. just to get you on stage for fifteen minutes. Yeah, yep. and they'll do it. Yeah, two, two bay, all these lower. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tubi. Tubi. Yep. <laughs> man, Tubi is like ghetto madness, man. That's that's yeah. ghetto madness to the fullest. Straight right man. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, straight yeah. ratchet on there, man. That, that's a nigga yeah. special, right there. Yeah. It is, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, is this like how they got these movies rated? They got it rated A, B, and C. You know, these yep. A movies, is, you know, the rated A is one that you see in the movie theaters, commercials. Rated B, you might hear about it. And then C is like, man, it just great to a CD or whatever. So now the ones who's blacklisted, they go to B and C, uh, get rated B and C. They be like, man, I ain't know my man made a movie. He went, hey, I didn't heard about it. It just went straight to, to TV or whatever. But that's just going in showing you like what the art brought out um, earlier. The Murph is gone, man. There's nothing to get excited about it, excited about in Babylon the Great anymore. There's nothing that we can sit here and talk about besides prophecy and besides uh Russia and, and America, man. 
You know, there's nothing to get excited about anymore. That's right. the that's the biggest show on TV right now. Seeing what Russia going to do, seeing when right. the MOTV is going to come out. That's right. You know, hey, these people are going to have to deal with reality, they right? Have to do, you know, all the stuff that's on the internet and on yep. the televisions. That's why the Lord is taking away the merch. He's like, man, I don't want y'all to enjoy that. Right. I'm going to put reality in your face. Yep. You, know? you, ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna have no choice but to see it. Right. I'm gonna put and I was, in your face, man. I'm gonna, you know, I was looking, out. I was looking at, um, you know, um, what, what the, the gas station that we be going to all the time? Oh, I forgot, um, Parker's or no, nah, the new one that we just we started going to, um, dang, oh, the cute, the quick trip. Yeah, yeah, they was talking about on the quick trip how they taking the ATMs out of the um stores. So that's wow. showing you that Esau is setting up his digital. You know his digital um 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 infrastructure because yeah, what because think about it he don't need ATMs anymore if money is not flowing through cash money is not flowing through like that anymore huh. nope. exactly yep yep and cash because, about to be done away with that's another reason yeah. <laughs> right yep. and you saw know it think about why why <laughs> would he take out the ATM out of the uh, the uh the convenience stores you know yep. because he's yep. already know what the next move is he already set the stage. Yeah, everything will be digital. Yep. I got a quick precept. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It says, Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. All right. Hey, and um, just going, you know, tying it all back in hey the, the the MOTB is what our people are gonna run to Esau yep. uh, for the want of all things man mm -hmm. right? to continue living in this life hey this is the new yoke you know yep. Yep. that's the new yoke that, that Esau is gonna put put on our people man if you yep. want to yep. buy and sell if you want to uh, 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 you know be an NFL football yep. player if you want to be an actor Guess what? Gonna have to take this. Yep, that's yep. gonna be the new, like that old saying. This gonna be the new norm. If you right. want, if you want in with the in crowd, you gotta get this. Well, and then hey, and like how you said, a lot of people is gonna two thirds. The reasons they go, they're gonna jump right on. it. be like, oh no, I want hey, my like, like, T benefits. Hey, like you said, though, uh, you can see Jake going in and saying, you know, he gonna take it, man, because you can see Jake coming in the hood. You know, flexing in his new car, you know, mm -hmm. got thirty, forty thousand dollars on his chip, you yeah. know, talking big boy talk. You can see it, man, because you know Jake, man. Yeah, I mean they, they done made plenty they done made plenty of prime examples with the uh what, what's the little check they sent the, the stimulus check. Yeah, you know, yep. start off start off with two, you know, two thousand dollars. Oh, you got kids, we give you extra five hundred dollars per kid. Yep. Yeah, right. every month, everybody be getting happy for that door won't check. Yep. You got man, you had you had women with had like five and six kids. They was having ten bands in their checking account, man. You know, winning. Mm -hmm. You know, so they got they already signed up for it, man. So once once Esau come with it and he put that those FRNs in your checking account, it's over with, man. Oh yeah, they gonna they gonna dress it up, make you make you get that. See if you get this right here, it's gonna have your 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 important date on it. You and he's gonna, gonna be the one pushing it, man. Oh yeah, he's gonna be the one pushing it. They got the black woman on there doing it. I got yeah. one. But you know, Eve was the one in the hood always pushing how to uh do the fake income taxes and stuff like that, man. Yep. You know how to get the extra money, how to find the loophole. It was always Eve. Yep, sure was. Yep. I got I got one. Isaiah 36 and 6. <laughs> Low thou trustest. It said, Low thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, wherein on if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. Right. So like y'all was saying, if you trust in this system, you want to continue on. You got to take the MOTB. Yep. You got to get on with the get on, man. Yep. yep. Trusting in the shadow of Egypt, man. It's going to be to their shame. These people are going to be shamed when it really comes out what they got to do to keep that 
that that that that that remnants of what they used to have, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got a on? Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. So, oh yeah. Uh, Anybody holding something? Yeah, I nope. had the Isaiah thirty. If nobody ain't had man. Oh yeah. Yeah, you bring it out. Isaiah thirty and ten. Nah. Uh, uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, okay. Isaiah thirty, Isaiah thirty and one. Bear your children, the Lord, counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and the trust in the shadow of Egypt. So, and that's what like your, like you brothers been saying. That's what a lot of our people gonna do man you know they trust yep. in this society they, they trust in their oppressor so they're gonna mm-hmm. take that sea hill man and it's only gonna be to their demise to their destruction mm-hmm. beautiful man and and the thing about it is we coming out to the highways the byways the hedges coming all over different social media platforms and warning the people man letting them know like hey this is not the way that you this is not the path that you should go down you know, you got to follow this path. This is the path that's going to lead you to rest. This is the path that's going to lead you to Yahweh Bashim Shah. This is where you should be going. But our people are hard head and stiff neck. You know, mm-hmm. sottish, stupid. They don't want to hear the words of the prophets that Yahweh Bashim Shah has sought up all around the four corners of the earth to save them, to help them. You know, they're going to look at us as though we evil men. You know, mm-hmm. we don't know what the hell we're talking about. And that's going to be like the I'll say to their demise. Um, I got a quick one. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. You know? So, hey, our people are going to be destroyed because why? They didn't have this knowledge. They didn't have this understanding. They didn't know how to call upon the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah. They didn't know where the snares and the traps were being sought up at, you know, because they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to take that reproof, all right? They didn't want to listen to these men that was coming out every weekend, sun up and sun down, constantly undoing the work and the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah. So they're going to be caught out here. Mm-hmm. Right. I got one. This is uh second Ezra's nine and uh nine and nine. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Mm. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they have yet liberty. And when uh, as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So, like the ox said, man, hey, these people are going to have a rude awakening. They're going to know the fear of the Lord one way or another. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, that's all I have. Um. Hey, I got one to close out on real quick. You know, uh, one of you brothers can break it down. Uh, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we uh, when we believe. Shakar, you got it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, now it's a high time. Now it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. You know, our people. You know, they out here in a dead state, like y'all been saying. We're telling them week in and week out, you know, day in and day out, you know, who they are, what they're supposed to be doing, all right? But they're not regarding it. But, it, you know, we're seeing all the signs, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep. And that, you know, that's the time we're in, though. We're seeing the prophecies, like the brothers say, the prophecies are popping like popcorn, man. You know, it's high time to awake, up, to awake out of sleep. Our salvation is right around the corner, man. Yeah, World War Three is about to pop off. All right, we'll see mm-hmm. the, the infrastructure. The infrastructure is basically set for the MOTB. You know, they're trying to get rid of the scriptures, the family of the word, Amos 8 and 11. So I, I, we're seeing all the, the Lord, y'all, Bashima, y'all, Bashima, Bashima, lining up these prophecies. All right, and they're all pretty much going to happen simultaneously. And that's why, you know, we have to constantly be on our watch. The brother read the scripture earlier, though, wait for it, Terry, 
because it will surely come in will not tear it. And our people don't realize how thing is, how fast this thing is gonna go, man. Especially once that MOTB comes. Right. Beautiful. Fine. Fine, man. Hey, so you know, brothers ain't have nothing. You know, we could close it out with that. You know, hey, okay. hey Lord, we, this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Uh we want to end off by giving all the glory, infinite praise, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakatadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth, and do we well in this tabernacle of David. Shalom on to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth in all sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. Shalom. 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 Hey, bro, stay in.